Is this thing on? Okay. Uh, hey everybody. Uh, it's been a while since we've talked. My name is Professor Adam. As you know, I am checking in. Day is April 12th, 2020. And we are currently being investigated. I can't say too much, but that's why my partner isn't here. Um, he's off investigating something in the meantime, but I just thought I would come in, give a little update on the conspiracy hunters, if I'm allowed to use that name still. It's been a while, it's been almost a year. We uncovered too many things in our first show, and that means that we were unfortunately under, well, as I said, under investigation. They haven't really told us what that means yet, so I don't know if I've hijacked this person's vlog or whatever. The intro looked cool. Sorry. Um, yeah. I'm here to tell you about birds. Birds. B-I-R-D-S. Bio-Integrated Robotic Directioning System. Now, the reason why I want to bring this up. So everybody's been staying indoors lately, which is great. I commend you all. It's a wonderful thing. Um, the government is telling us to stay indoors and we need to listen. However, you might not know the real reason for it. So those BIRDSs, they are, it's, it's like a security system that the government uses to find who's going where, who's doing what, all that sort of thing. Unfortunately, that means that they know what you're doing, they know what I'm doing. That's why I haven't been going outside lately, um, and that's why the rest of you have, have been going outside lately, is because they've realized that, that the solar-powered receptors and the eye holes are kind of like wonky, and they need to replace them all, so, you know, if you hear the tweeting, it's not actually birds. That's their sign saying, oh, they're doing something suspicious, and that's when they really start to listen. So I'm just going to review some of the models of BIRDSs today. I have my handy dandy um, exploratory navigation device here. Let me just pull up my rating system. You know, it's it's hard finding conspiracies these days, so. Okay, there we go. So we need to judge them on how fluttery they are, their squawk, the feathers, the song, the color, and that indescribable essence. The reason why I'm doing this is because, you know, I want to see which ones are kind of the most real. So we're going to look up a raven. Oh, they're nice, you know. Black, very intelligent. Oh, what a fantastic coat. You know, I'm impartial to them myself, you know. <laughs> Wrapping on my chamber roar, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Let's see, fluttery. I wouldn't say that they're necessarily the most fl fluttery aboard, board, board, board. Bird? Oh, boards. They're not the most fluttery of birds. They're kind of, you know, like... Like, it sounds like their feathers when they're flying are kind of hitting like a brick. So not necessarily fluttery. On the fluttery scale, I'm going to give not. Squawk? Yes. Ravens can produce a variety of noises, which I think is cool. So they get that point for themselves. Feathers? Yes. Song? Mmm. It depends. I've heard some ravens sing, but mostly it's, you know, it's very macabre, it's very grim. Those birds are were actually invented by the government to watch those that are near death, and they kind of, you know, the government uses that to go and recharge them in the Matrix, or whatever they're calling it these days. Color. Hmm. Now, see, black is a very... It's a great color, because it's good for, like, a disguise, but at the same time, at, it, during the day it's very obvious, during night it's extremely hard to see, so I don't know, I'm gonna give half points because they kind of have half of it going. Indescribable essence. Well, I can't describe it. Alright, the next up, you know what, let's do a blue jay. Let's go to the next. Not the baseball team. That's a nice picture of a blue jay, if I say so myself. I didn't take it. I'm just looking at it. So. First things first, fluttery. You know, I it's been a while since I've seen a blue, blue jay in the wild. I think that they were trying to retire that model, but they don't want to be like, oh, this species is endangered, it's, it's extinct. So they haven't really said much about it. I don't know, I just haven't... I'm going to say N.A. on that category. Squawk. N.A. Feathers. 
Oh, perfect. 10 out of 10. 100 million percent out of 10. I think that a Blue Jay looks amazing. They, you know, it's a, such a visually striking design, which is akin to fish, where it's like, you know, the more colorful fish, I have poison in me. These birds, you, you know, if you get too close, the government presses their button and a acid comes out of the little chin strap beneath. That's like a secondary opening door for their head. Color. Good. Did I already say color? That was the color category. Indescri indescribable essence. I think that blue jays have a lot going for them. Indescribable. Yeah. Okay, flipping that color wheel over, let's go to cardinals. Now, I'm not talking about the Roman Catholic. Oh, chunky. I'm not talking about the Roman Catholic. You're below the Pope sort of deal. But the bird. Bird, I should say. You know, they're red. Fluttery, yes. Squawk. I don't know, do they squawk? No. Okay. Sorry. The, su the supervisor sending messages into my head. I don't know. You know, as a, si as a system of judgment, it's, I know this seems... A l oh, Professor Adam, you're thinking of things so outside of the box. It would take me years to think of this. I know, I know. Save, save your compliments for the comments. Feathers? Yes, they do. Color? You know, the red is a very fun color, and it has the same sort of thing as the blue jay where it's got like the big black around the face but that's not like it's so that the cardinal can launch their beak as a little drone and that can follow you into places where a cardinal would be unnatural you know so yeah it's got that going for it indescribable essence i can describe this one you know red so i don't think that it's got it there all right how about we do one more bird let's say random bird Random bird species generator. Let's, you know, we have a lot of really fancy technology. Randomize. Mountain scops owl. Oh, it's creating a species for me. No. Oh no, okay, good. That is a species. Oh my. It's so like a little dust bunny. I guess I can't really rate it on much besides color and indescribable essence and feathers. So I'm gonna say that, you know, the feathers were a good choice on this one. You know, it is kind of hard to make a bird look like a bird sometimes, so I get it, you know. Hard work by the government, but this one, it's too fluffy almost to be a bird. So I'm gonna give it a no on the scale. Color? Great. You know, if I'm in the forest, if that thing's on a tree, I'm not seeing it. If that thing's on a dirt road, I'm not seeing it. If that thing is in the base, in a pile of wood, I'm not seeing it. So. Good job, government. Got me on that one. Indescribable essence. Well, see, I described it earlier. It's like a little dust bunny, you know? It's like a little puff. So I don't think that it necessarily wins on that one, but... All right, thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, whoever's channel this is, subscribe down below or whatever they say. This has been Professor Adam. Hopefully next time you see me, it's a little more, you know, in safer conditions, but time will tell. Thanks for watching. Bye.